Now, let's pose for a moment and examine a typical modern world map. Take a closer look at the size of Africa, okay? So we all know that maps are used to represent our vast and diverse world. But have you ever wondered how accurate these maps really are? Well, when it comes to Africa, the answer is pretty surprising. You see, the map of Africa that we're used to seeing is, in fact, incredibly distorted. Did you know that Africa is larger than the United States, including Alaska? In fact, it's almost three times the size. And what about Canada? Well, Africa is roughly 1.5 times bigger than the size of the entire country. And let's not forget about Europe. Africa dwarfs the European continent, being nearly four times larger. Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore the true size of Africa. Get ready to have your mind blown. When we look at a typical world map, Africa often appears much smaller than it actually is. But in reality, Africa is a gigantic continent. In fact, it is so massive that it can fit the United States, China, India, and most of Western Europe combined. So why does Africa seem smaller on most maps? Mapping and cartography have a rich history through which over 80 maps have been projected by different cartographers. Some of the earliest maps were created around 650 BCE. Not only have maps influenced how people view the world's geography, but they have also helped humanity advance. Maps have been created since the dawn of civilization for a variety of purposes, including trade, invasion, and for exploration. Now take a look at this. On most traditional maps, Africa appears much smaller than it actually is. Well, it all comes down to a distortion called the Mercator Projection. This projection, created by Gerardus Mercator in the 16th century, was excellent for nautical navigation since it preserved the straight lines used for plotting routes. However, this projection greatly distorts the sizes of land masses the further they are from the equator. So when we see Africa on a Mercator map, it appears significantly smaller than it actually is. But let's set the record straight by looking at the actual size of this extraordinary continent. Here we have Africa superimposed over other countries, giving us a true perspective of its size. Just take a look. Africa stretches from the northernmost point to the southernmost tip of the continent, covering a mind-boggling distance. You see, Africa is home to 54 countries, over 1.46 billion people, and a rich diversity of cultures, landscapes, and wildlife. But its size is often underestimated, leading to misconceptions about the continent. After Asia, Africa is the continent with the second highest population in the world. It occupies 6% of the planet's total surface area and around 30.37 million square kilometers, which is 11.7 million square miles of the planet's total land area. As of 2021, it has 1.4 billion inhabitants, or nearly 18% of all people on Earth. Africa has the youngest population of all the continents, with a median age of 19.7 in 2012, compared to a global average of 30.4. Despite having a variety of natural resources, Africa is the second least rich continent overall behind Oceania and the least wealthy per capita. Several factors such as geography, climate, tribalism, colonialism, the Cold War, neo-colonialism, a lack of a functioning democracy and corruption have been suggested as causes by academics. With those main facts in mind, let's further understand the immensity of Africa by comparing it to a few notable areas. Did you know that Africa is larger than the United States, including Alaska? In fact, it's almost three times the size. And what about Canada? Well, Africa is roughly 1.5 times bigger than the size of the entire country. And let's not forget about Europe. Africa dwarfs the European continent, being nearly four times larger. These comparisons truly highlight the vastness of Africa and help us recognize its importance globally. Let's look at geopolitical reasons why the Mercator projection is still used as a standard map to this day, despite its obvious flaws. According to several academics, like Kruk, the expansion of European and North American nations is not a coincidence. According to Krak, 
this technique gave Western cartographers greater room to record towns, cities, roads, and other features in their region of the world. There would be almost no room on the map to represent all these details if you used a map projection with equal areas. Of course, there was also a lot of Africa to map, but the northern cartographers didn't care as much about that. The author continues. Also, misrepresentation has also been used as a tool for politics. One of the drawbacks of the Mercator map is that it might give the impression that larger countries are threatening and excessively powerful. Power of representation and representation of power is a phrase that really captures how maps and the rise of the Western nations, empires and colonialism are linked, says Marianne Franklin, professor of global media and politics at Goldsmiths University of London. Perhaps a map projection that affirmed those nations' sense of self-importance served as the impetus for later European imperialism. Since the British Empire, the global maps that are in use today have been embedded in Western culture. They persist despite numerous challenges to their fairness and accuracy, because they serve as the foundation for the continued Anglo, Euro and American assumption that the globe is theirs and revolve around these geocultural axes, according to Marianne Franklin. Now, you may ask, is there a better solution to the Mercator map or the other distorted maps? I have to emphasize, there are no perfect maps to accurately represent the actual sizes of continents in the world. However, let's look at a better and more recent map projection. The orthograph map is a recent type of map projection that was created by Hajim Narukawa, a Japanese architect, in 1999. It was developed by splitting the spherical surface of the map into 96 triangles to fold into a 3D globe and is substantially more accurate than conventional 2D maps and can be folded into a 3D globe. Not only is Africa incredibly expansive, but it's also full of natural wonders. From the Sahara Desert to the Serengeti, the Victoria Falls to the Nile River, Africa offers unparalleled beauty and adventures. So, my fellow adventurers, the next time you look at a map, keep in mind the distorted image we've been fed for centuries. Let's appreciate the true size of Africa and give credit where credit is due. Africa is not just a small patch on the earth. It's a vast and awe-inspiring landmass that deserves recognition. Well, that's all we have for you today. We hope this video helps shatter some misconceptions and shed light on the true size of Africa. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating content.